Hello FlossTube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you some of my finished projects and uh, some of the projects which are still being uh, worked on and I have some, uh, some progress and I wanted to share that progress with you. Uh, first of all, I will start with such uh, design, designs, design from um, Just Nan from the series of Small Delights. This is Seasonal Gems, Seasonal Gems 1 and 2. Um, in the end of uh, January, uh, there was a video where I um, said that I was missing stitching Just Nan and I announced uh, a few new projects and uh, little by little I am um, like stitching and finishing those projects. So, speaking about the seasonal gems, the um, initial uh, plan was to stitch them one by one according to the season. So, um, today I have to show you the stitched uh, winter. But, when I start stitching them, um, like start stitching the first one, winter, I just realized that uh, actually the four of them have the same um, um, DMC flaws. They need the same DMC flaws uh, numbers to be stitched. Uh, with little exceptions, for example, here there was a yellow uh, um, DMC which was used here in the middle of the flowers. Uh, here that one wasn't used. And here uh, one uh, one more color was going away and here one more was coming uh, uh, as a new one. But th that's, a, that's it. So the rest of them were the same. And I just thought from the, I don't know, practical point of view, I thought that well, I already have organized this um, project. I have the flaws on the organizer, I have the fabric for, for all of them, four of them, because the fabric was a pieces of fabric where I wall together, so that when the time for the next one will come, I will stitch the next one. And I thought that probably it's going to be how do I say, a waste of time each season just to take the same threads one more time and like, or for example, let's say that I would keep the same box and each season I will start a, a new other project, and, but I didn't want a box <laughs> to be kept until the next season for such a small uh, project. Okay, probably you already guessed and understood that I stitched all four of them. Yes, I did it. I have all four seasons. Here they are. So the pieces of fabric I already had, they were leftovers because I have um, a pack with uh, little pieces of fabric which um, are left from, um, for example, I stitch from... I used to buy um, the fabric um, standard, I mean Zweigart uh, 5170, and I can use it for different projects and the small pieces which uh, remain, uh, which I have after finishing them, and which would fit a small project like this, I don't throw away. I just keep them so that when a project like one, a project like this will come, so that I could stitch it on. I just feel sorry for throwing them. So, I had such four pieces of fabric. Uh, apparently, this uh, was left from um, the Jasmine uh, stockings because I have stitched three stockings, three pink cushions. So I have them. The fabric is uh, uh, cream. Uh, it's not 222 cream like the yellower one, but it's the lighter one. This is uh, 99, the um, code color, color code from Zweigart. So more or less, I, more or less, I would say it's according to the key. It's the 28th um, cream um, cream fabric. Okay, so uh, I started with uh, the winter. I started stitching winter when I understood, like I looked at the uh, uh, this one and I saw that, okay, the same threads I used here as well. And as a curiosity, I looked here and I saw that, oh my God, it's the same threads. It's just a little change. Then it was the idea of like stitching them all. Uh, by the way, speaking about the changes, there are some changes which I made. So according to the key um, here on this uh, frame, uh, there is some backstitch which is supposed to be done with uh, Kranich. Uh, let me tell you which color of Kranich is. I don't remember it. Kranich, where are you? 154V. So this is a brown Kranich. Um, I didn't have this one. I had some brown... Um, mm, Rainbow Gallery, 
And when this one was uh, stitched, I mean the frame, I start, I tried to make this backstitch with that brown um, rainbow gallery. And honestly, I didn't like how it looked like. So I changed it for a simple, like a gold. Uh, um, in my case, I chose, chose PB03. I mean, from Treasure Braid, the gold one. You can choose any Karen shade, the gold Karen shade you have. Uh, you can try doing this one with uh, any other color of um, metallic thread so that you would see how it looks like. Or you can skip it and not do it at all because it doesn't make the greatest, greatest difference. Okay, and uh, one more change which I made. Um, according to the key, uh, each of these designs, I mean like with winter, spring, uh, summer and autumn, each of them asked for a Karen. Um, I mean like uh, I had to buy four Karens for these little designs. Um, had to buy because I looked in the leftovers of uh, the Karens I had and I didn't find any of the shades which were required by the key. That's why I decided what if I'm going to try to do it my way, you know, like another way. And the another way, it was the following. I uh, looked in the leftovers of um, silks which I have and I actually chose two. So this is a Karen, this is Karen Mulberry. I know exactly that this one um, is left over from, um, or I use it, I used it in the um, Scorpio Girl by Nora Corbett. And I have uh, Fred Giver, the, um, it's called Scent of Rose. And I know for sure that I used it in one of my half dolls uh, skirts. Um, how do I, did I choose this ones? So um, I stitched, first of all, I stitched the four uh, how the same the four uh, designs and I left the part which had to be stitched with uh, the hand dyed thread and the part which had to be stitched with hand dyed thread in each design is the inner frame it's this one you see this one and that's it you don't have to stitch anything else. Why did I leave it uh, this one for for the last part? Because having the um, center already stitched, I could realize what color I needed. And this one, by the way, is stitched in uh, this inner frame. Uh, is stitched in one thread because you know, like the uh, silk threads, they are a little bit thicker than the cotton ones, and they allow you to do this thing. That's why, in such a way, um, for winter. And for summer, I chose the thread gatherer, how to show you, so that you would realize. And I think they fit here perfectly. Yes, they don't look like the original one, but they fit perfectly. And this was the most important thing for me. And for... Um, okay. For spring and autumn, I used the Karen Mulberry, and I think it's great. I, I am very happy about the, the result, because, you know, like spending money for four Karens, uh, it would have been too much. And let me show you each of them, how they look like. So the frame is the same for each of them. Uh, they require quite a lot of beads. Uh, this is the petite bead, and I was like, you know, I was like... Um, how they say, wondering in the beginning when I uh, took the uh, embellishment pack, why do they have so many beads? But this one has a lot of them inside. So the frame has in each of them, but inside this one also has a lot of beads. So here I have the um, charm, the um, snowflake charm. And uh, there are some speciality stitches, as you can see here, 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 and here. Here is the diamond eyelet. And um, then for spring, this is how spring looks like. With a pansy here, also has speciality stitches and the flowers here. This one doesn't have so much, uh, uh, so many beads inside, you see? It's much, much, it was easier to, and quicker to stitch this one. Take into account that I am attaching the beads, the petites I attached in uh, like cross stitch, not back stitch, back stitch, not half stitch, but I, was cross stitch then summer with such a rose charm and here are the specialty stitches and the roses and the buttons 
and the autumn one. Here it is, and this uh, these are uh, grapes, by the way, acorns and the speciality stitchers. The grapes, according to the key, they should have been stitched in uh, Smyrna's. I didn't do it. <laughs> I just didn't, I wasn't in the mood of stitching so much Smyrna. And I have the memory of stitching uh, grapes uh, in Smyrna, I mean also by Just Nam, in the autumn um, sampler with the uh, squirrel. And uh, I don't remember them having a wow effect. That's why I said no. So, yes, I have finished them. And speaking about the finishing. Um, in the very beginning, uh, my first idea was like stitching them and finishing in uh, pin cushions, you know, like cushions, and displaying them each season. For example, in winter, in winter will come winter, in summer will come summer, and so on and so forth. Now, why I haven't uh, finished them? Why I'm not showing them to you finished? Number one, because I didn't have time to finish, because I didn't stitch one, I stitched all of them. And number two, I'm not sure uh, at this moment that um, I want, um, I'm not sure that I want um, pink cushions because uh, taking into account that all of them are stitched with uh, more or less the same um, colors, they would fit like together. But again, they come on uh, separate, you know, like uh, uh, pieces of uh, fabric. So um, I thought about leaving them a little bit and thinking about what do I, what still do I want? And I can finish them in a pin cushion anytime. So stitched, but not finished yet. One more design, which I wanted to stitch a lot. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Miss Kitty's Dragons. So it was uh, also one of the designs I wanted to start. This is just them. And um, I don't remember if I said that um, the reason I wanted to start to stitch this one is because I saw the design on Instagram being uh, finished in a cushion, pink cushion, and it looked li nice. So I, from the very beginning, I knew that I don't want the finishing in in a, um, such a envelope thing, and uh, I didn't want the finishing uh, like in in a frame. That's why I said that I'm going to stitch it and I am going to finish it in a pink cushion. It's stitched, but it's not a pink cushion yet. Um, why it's not a pink cushion? Let me explain <laughs> the thing. So um, I started stitching it, and when I saw that uh, this one is being so complex and so beautiful and has so many little nice details, I kind of uh, didn't want to finish it in a pink cushion. And uh, why didn't I want to do this? Because I remember that I have in my stash actually a few more designs by Just Nam, which also come uh, uh, have square form, so the mini square samplers, I don't know how to call them. So this is uh, also from the Small Delights uh, uh, series, there is one with the a turtle here. Um, then uh, what else I have? I have the one which is with uh, a nest here, great expectations of how it's called, that, that one. So I looked at those charts and I looked at the number of stitches they have and more or less they have the same number of stitches, meaning that uh, when being stitched they are going to be more or less the same size. And I thought that maybe it has uh, sense to stitch, uh, I don't have so, so many, I don't remember how many designs I have, but I have a few. Maybe it has a meaning, a sense to stitch them and then frame them in, uh, you know, like um, uh, square frames, uh, the same style, the same color, and uh, being on the wall, being together, like, um, you know, like, because anyway, it's just then, it's the same style of charts, of uh, what's inside that chart. So um, I didn't want to rush finishing in, it in a pin cushion. I said that I'm going to leave it like this. And uh, in time, uh, I'll stitch one, two, maybe three of those designs. I'm, I told you about the square, the, size, the square designs. And I'll decide, I'll decide. Either they will go in, a frame, in frames, all of them. Either they are going to be pin cushions, all of them. <laughs> so, uh, didn't want just uh, to f finish it in a pink cushion and then regret that I did it, you know? Okay, that's it about the finishing and speaking about the design. So I stitched this one on the 28th Cashel uh, linen, the light country mocha, light country light uh, mocha, 
which was um, recommended by the key. When starting starting stitching it, I even thought that maybe I should have chosen something lighter, but now stitching it more, I just realized that no, this was well, this is the best decision like sticking it to the key i have here the threads because um i just uh, announced the stitching of this one didn't show anything in between and i just thought that maybe it uh, has uh, it would be fair to show you the the threads which i used here comes the come dmc threads uh does it have another stitch in, uh, yes you can stitch them in splendor if you want in silks and i stitched them in just in dmc quite a lot of colors i would say uh, take into account that it's such a small design and and the such a small design it proved to be very complex and it took me quite a lot of time to stitch it yes i just was pleasantly surprised that this miss that miss kitty is not an easy work to be done okay so first of all it's the uh, outer uh, frame this one and then when i was just looking what to start i realized that Actually, these uh, corners, they are different, the ones with the uh, charm um, uh, dragonflies. These two come the same, absolutely the same. These two, it looks that they are the same, but the flowers which come here, they are different. Then it comes this frame, which inside, again, has the roses, it has this part, it has the dragonflies, which is backstitch, and which is quite a lot. And I decided that I would go from the outer part to the center. Um, first I did this frame and then I did this frame, you know, so that I would be sure that I separated them correctly. I could work like the smaller uh, smaller parts. Uh, why do I tell you this? Because um, many times you, you say that uh, um, I stitch quickly and I would say that I'm not such a quick, quick stitcher as I am a stitcher who likes to plan her work, her stitch. I don't know why, but I am kind of, um, for example, before starting stitching, I'm looking at the chart, I'm looking at what I have to do. And here, for, I already told you, I made the outer bigger frame, I made this frame, so that I, I um, separated the um, work, uh, the, the space, so that I would start work. And I saw that these two, they come exactly the same. I started stitching these two parallelly, for example, I took this one, I took this one, so so that I wouldn't change the, the thread very often, you know, like I would work with the same thread. Um, here, by the way, there were a lot of speciality stitches, by the way. For example, the round eyelet, it's uh, like in the corners, the four corners here, it comes, then the same round eyelet, it comes in the corners of this one here, and it comes also like in, in this round one, like here there are four, so it's 12, and except this one, there are two, like for this part, like four more. So there are 16. Then each corner has triple leviathan in pink. This one, you see, like this one, this one, this one. And again, I took the thread and I was doing them for all the parts so that they would have been uh, done. The leaves here, by the way, are very nicely worked. You see, these leaves here and here also nicely worked. The uh, white flowers with the yellow uh, middle, uh, the petals, they come in spirna, all of them, I mean spirna, and they come, if you can see, like round, 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 so quite a lot of them. There are ladybugs here, and here, and here, and here, and this true, uh, maybe they look the same, but here, the, these flowers, they come different, you see, the, here are some flowers, and here are other flowers, and here, inside the rice stitch, which comes here, already comes the same. The uh, roses, which come like like six roses there are, they are also the same. And inside, inside, um, so the center was easy to, to stitch. Uh, here is some satin flowers, also tricky. I had to look very carefully when doing them. And the dragonflies, they are uh, backstitch. So it was a lot of backstitch here for their like leaves leaves uh, for their wings <laughs> it was a lot and some tiny butterflies as well you see and uh, inside the wings of the um, dragonflies if you can see there are smirnas made from uh, cranic so according to the key there is a cranic number four braid this is a uh, 085 
and uh, I had this one in my stash when I got ready, I was getting ready for the design, I had this one in the stash and I was thinking what is going to be used for and you know when I started stitching I was like oh my god I hope the uh, backstitched uh, dragonflies they are not going to be backstitched with uh, um, cranic and I looked quickly in the chart and I saw this smirnas on their uh, on their wings and I said <laughs> I am relieved. By the way, uh, if you don't have this uh, shade of um, cranic, you can use anything. It would be, uh, it would look okay with their wings. So, or you cannot use it at, at all because they look beautifully without it as well. Uh, this one didn't have any beads, so the only um, embellishment it had it was this uh, Miss Kitty cat, which is uh, in the middle, and the four uh, uh, dragonflies charms, which come on the corners, and that's it. So um, that's it. Uh, the thing is that um, I didn't leave a lot of space here and here because I was sure that I'm going to finish it in a pin cushion and for a pin cushion it would have been enough. But I think in case I decide to finish it in, um, I mean, in a frame also, I will have like enough space here to use the fabric to finish. And yes, Miss Kitty's Dragons is stitched. And the next design I am stitching. I wanted to show you. This time is something big, I would say. So this is um, such a Dimensions Gold Collection uh, design. This is um, Sweet Nectar. Um, I have purchased this one last year. It was a kit which I wanted very, very much and I am very happy that I managed to purchase it. That's why I decided that I want to start stitching it. And this is what I have so far. Um, so it's a round design, circle design, and uh, before starting I was thinking where to start, you know, like uh, I use uh, to start the designs, uh, the, uh, I love starting the designs, the um, down, lower, uh, right angle, but here it was, wasn't possible, <laughs> it was possible, but you know, it was easy to get uh, wrong the, um, how to say, how to place it on the uh, on the fabric. That's why I just um, found the center and from the center I went down and uh, I found the um, center of the um, lower part. And as I am a person who likes uh, um, stitching frames, I thought that I'm going to stitch uh, the frame of this one uh, first. And the frame here comes in uh, gold and it's like this part of the uh, plate and the inner of frame the inner part of the uh, the plate the this one is made in half stitch and it comes with two gold threads and two um, um, like cotton threads and in the beginning when i started it i thought that i'm going to use the rainbow gallery petite treasure braid the gold one because i like very much that one how it is how it acts when you are using it in stitching you know like it's it's a good thread but the thing is that I used one of uh, that, of Rainbow Gallery, and two of these ones. I didn't like how it looked. Then I used like one um, cotton thread and one um, Rainbow Gallery. It was too much gold. And then I used the combination which they asked uh, in the key, like two by two. And this was perfect. So I don't like the gold which is in the kit, but this is the perfect way of... Uh, making uh, making it that's why i'm making with what is recommended in the in the key so um started this one like stitched and then i thought what why not stitching this one this one is easier to be done because it's just uh, it's not so uh, so thick as this one i just counted here went here and this one i already closed here the plan was to close this one as well you know and i was like stitching 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 i was like going 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 went here and it was too much for me. I already couldn't couldn't do it anymore. And I said, okay, let me stop. And started like filling it this one. Um, it's not difficult um, a difficult design, meaning that uh, not many colors um, are used to stitch a certain element. For example, for the um, uh, for the hummingbirds. All of them have uh, certain colors which come common. It's just uh, taking into account that these are different uh, uh, species of hummingbirds. They have different colors. For example, this is the 
uh, red throat hummingbird. Uh, this is one that comes with a blue head. You know, it's like they, they are different because they are different uh, uh, species. But the green part, uh, there are parts which come uh, the purple part. They are the same uh, colors. Uh, for example, you take four colors of, of uh, cotton thread and you already have finished these flowers. The leaves, they come in just two colors, so it's easy to stitch this one. And uh, the um, dark green thing which is filled in here is uh, half stitch in four threads. The, and this was the part which uh, made the work difficult for me. Why? Uh, because uh, there are like um, four threads and it's physically quite tough on the 18th count Aida to, to do this. One thing you have to do, I cannot do it quickly because I have to make sure that they are nicely, they nicely fit here. Being four threads, you know, sometimes one can go lower, one can go higher. So you have to make sure that all of them go nicely. I wouldn't say that uh, I make the perfect, uh, I'm not good at half stitches, by the way. If you have to stitch... Uh, quite a lot uh, of quite a big uh, portion with half stitch. I don't like how my half stitches look like. That's why I'm doing my best here to make them look nice, you know. And when I have to fill in this part, I wouldn't say that I do it quickly, you know, because I filled until this one and I decided, okay, let me stitch these uh, like elements, flowers, leaves, uh, humic bars, and then I am going to fill in. My initial plan was to, sti to stitch until here, but I like so much stitching these things that I couldn't like help myself and I went until here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, now I have to fill in everything with this dark one and it will take time. But the good thing is that um, um, I don't have to concentrate so much here so that I wouldn't make mistakes because it's just filling in and I can watch. And this is uh, very nice because time passes qu quickly. You know, it's not like you are doing... You can get very easily bored of this one, but uh, you take into account that I'm watching something. I don't, um, I don't find it boring. It's yes, physically it's difficult because you have to like do it in four threads, but it's not, uh, it's not boring. I don't get bored and I still do it. So um, yeah, the plan is the following. Still, I'm not going to go like inside. I'm going to continue filling in the uh, the outer one. I'm going to continue like doing the the gold one. So I'm intending to finish this one because, um, you know, already when you start stitching um, a certain part, which has more or less a certain style, you get used to it and you, you are stitching it quickly. That's why I'm going to continue stitching this one. And then I'm going to go to the central part, which is kind of this one. And it seems to me that that one is going to be easier from the point of view that... Um, it's, um, I don't have a half stitch so much. I have this green one here and there, but it's a little. Mostly it's, uh, it's cross stitch. And the half stitch, which has to be done here, it's not in so many threads. So I suppose maybe it's not going to be quicker, the, like the central part, but it's going to be nicer from the point of view that I wouldn't have so many, so much half stitch and in, in so many threads. <laughs> If you understood what I mean. By the way, I have all the uh, plates, Lena Lu plates with humming birds. Um, I purchased them after purchasing the um, Dimensions um, kit because I wanted very much uh, uh, the plates. I wanted very much this one. And I told myself that if I manage, if I will manage to buy the kit, then I will look for the plates. And I have the plates. And by the way, if you are curious to find out if... Uh, uh, dimensions made the uh, uh, cross stitch uh, kit absolutely according to the Lena, uh, according to Lena Liu um, plate, which was the inspiration. So this is how it looks like, and you can judge by the part which I stitched. I mean, like this one, and you can see that here, for example, it's pink flower. In my case, it's red, so they don't coincide. Until, and I was looking and I said, why? <laughs> Until I saw this blue flower and I said, but I have a blue flower, how come? And then I realized that actually dimensions made it upside down. I mean, this part, they made it upside down. Because look, if you may be making like this, it fits. The, um, the, the um, hummingbird here, here it is. The flowers, this hummingbird, the pink flowers, the pink flower, the other hummingbird, these flowers, even the buttons, look, the buttons here, they go. The sleeves, blue leaves, the blue flowers. So everything goes, okay. 
so it fit, it's huge, it fits, but, but it's upside down, you know, comparing to the central part. Nevertheless, it's a very, very beautiful design. I love it enormously. And um, of course, I will continue stitching it. And I'll show it to you how this one is turning on because it's a really, really beautiful design. And it's huge. You know, in the beginning, I was like, when I started making this uh, this frame, I was like, oh my God, this one is huge. Then I looked on the preview and it says 40 centimeters. So yeah, it is as the preview says it would be. So yeah, I will show you, of course, how this work is uh, progressing. And one more big design, giant, I would say. This is Sanssouci Castle and Gardens, the shot lane design which kind of was on hold for more than a month, I think. Yeah, more than a month, almost true. Uh, the thing is that I have stitched this one uh, before Christmas and uh, I just packed it away because I said uh, it's going to be Christmas and then like uh, New Year and uh, after the um, uh, winter holidays will finish, everybody will go to work and to school, I will start uh, restart stitching this one because um, uh, I'm stitching this one mainly uh, when my child is at uh, school because I um, it's a big, big frame and I used to attach it to the lower stand. I used to take the box with the threads. And uh, most of all, I'm afraid that my child, when he's uh, doing some painting things or he's uh, playing, he can come with, I don't know, his colorings and he's a child, you know. I'm afraid of, that this design is too big, too expensive to ruin it like this. That's why the safest way to stitch is when my child is at school, I have enough time to stitch and like do as much as I want. But when uh, winter holidays went away and it was time to take this one out and stitch it, I just didn't want it. I don't know why I didn't have the mood of stitching it. I wanted to stitch small designs. I was very eager to stitch just now and I missed stitching just now. And this is what I did, if you remember, just I took, pulled out from my stash some uh, some um, designs. I took them, I stitched them. Now this urge, this urge like is fulfilled. And I took out this design and I said that, okay, now it's time to continue stitching it because this one is big. I, I admit that uh, you cannot stitch it like in uh, two, three, four months and uh, it needs time, it needs concentration, you know, things like this. Okay, so what I managed to do since I took it out, because it was just a couple of days, I filled in this, um, uh, this boxes. So this is uh, pavement actually uh, in the garden and I filled them in. I would say that this part is finished, but no, I have to stitch here some uh, herbs, it seems but they are not a lot and I finish this part. Plans are the following. I want to uh, fill in this one, then fill in this one. And then I have like one more frame to make here with a topiary, if I'm not wrong, and one more here. So yes, I have quite a lot of work to do until I'll be, um, I'll have to roll the, the to scroll the, the frame. So yes, I'm going to try to work on this one and have progress, of course to show it to you. And uh, that's everything I wanted to show you in today's video. That's everything I have stitched, finished so far. That's everything what I am working on at the moment, because yes, the two big projects I'm working on, this is the um, Dimensions and this is uh, Chatelaine. And of course, you'll find out what is going on in my cross-stitch life in my next videos. But until then, bye-bye.